Well, it's the moment we've been waiting for. Descript got a makeover. I'm gonna walk through every new layout feature in Descript with you here because in my very last video, I pointed out some of the new AI features and I mentioned that Descript got a little bit of a glow up. And that was before I even knew anything about the new layout. We now have this big, beautiful menu over on the right-hand sidebar, including this one called Underlord, which is the worst name for it. However, what's inside of the Underlord is actually really cool. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Meredith and I'm here to help you look good, sound good, and feel good on camera so that you can build your binge-worthy video brand. And if you don't have access to the new layout yet, just go to your settings and then scroll down under labs. You could see in the background that it completely switched over to this whole new layout. But before I dive into all of these juicy little sidebar elements, let me just go back to the home screen here because when you have the new editor enabled, you have this whole section called Learn Descript, which I love that they did this. Anytime you open Descript and something is different or it changes, it's hard to know what, what is different and how do I use these different features. So I love that they have this right here within Descript and these videos that literally walk you through it. So in the old version of Descript, what you might be used to is up at the top, you have these buttons here where you would add files or record or add your text, your um, titles, your captions, you had elements, and then you had your templates. But these tiny little buttons aren't labeled. You don't know what's in there until you open them. So let me turn our new editor layout and underlord back on here so that you can see what happens once you do that because those top buttons are now gone and replaced with this whole sidebar area, which I love because it takes up a little bit more screen real estate and you can kind of see everything. So we have the files with the compositions and the different files that are inside of your project. So that essentially operates in pretty much the same way that it did when it was in the top menu. But now it's like something you can collapse or show depending on what you wanna see. Below that is the property sidebar, which you probably used to because we've had the properties in our sidebar before. So this is where, you know, when you have something selected, you can change the volume, you can add effects, you can add animations um, under layout. You have, you know, where you can like zoom in or zoom out or give things a rounded corner and so forth. So it's the literally the properties of the video that you're editing. So that's not that much different, but if you feel like you're missing something, like layout, for example, it is collapsed by default. I don't know why. Um, so it, it, it's in there. You may just have to uncollapse some of these sections. Down under comments, again, we've had comments before, but they were kind of um, hidden up here in the top right. Now they get their own section. And then there's the record section, which works just like the old record section. It's just that now it's it's in the sidebar. I totally forgot to mention that I created a Descript video editing cheat sheet. It's all one page. It's a completely free download and it covers the seven basic steps that I use when I'm editing a video in Descript. And it also is updated for this new version of Descript. I'll put a link down below so you can download it. Now the layouts is what Descript was calling templates before. So you could put text on your screen or put, you know, images, put two people, if you had an interview, you could save that as a template. So we're now calling that layouts. I don't know if they've improved anything about how the layouts and templates actually work other than putting them in their own little sidebar here, but I, I like the direction we're headed with the layouts. Down here under media is where you can find stock media that is you know, assumed to be royalty free and available for you to use. So this is where you could search for stock videos or stock images, stickers, backgrounds, things like that. Under music, again, this is music that is presumed to be available for you to use royalty free. Of course, you can always upload your own 
stock B-roll or images or stickers or background music and sound effects up here under files. You would just hit upload and upload whatever you wanted to upload. So if you're using Epidemic Sound, for example, which is where I get my background music and sound effects from, um, or whatever source you use, you can always upload your own. So down here under elements is where you'll find things like adding text so that you can add a title to your screen or you can add your shapes. I want to record a video where I'm just going through every single Descript function, like A to Z, every single thing that Descript does. So if you're not already following me here, make sure you hit subscribe. And then down here under captions, this is where you have your um, like your your live captions, as you might call it, where it's following along in your script and then putting the words on the screen. So you have some sort of like presets for how some of these things look. But if I have this caption selected and I go to properties, I could just come in here and change, like let's say I wanted to have a purple background and we could just customize it from the preset. Let's come up to the Underlord over here at the top. This is where all of Descript's AI functions and features live under the Underlord. I don't know why they called it that. I don't like the name, but I like everything that happens when you hit the Underlord button because you have so many AI options that you may not have even known existed. Plus there's a whole bunch of new ones that I just covered in my previous video. But you know, we've had shortened word gaps and remove filler words and things like that. But we now have remove retakes, which is an important one for me. We have the eye contact AI, green screen, automatic multicam. Generate an image. What does this do? Oh, we can just make a woman making a weird face because she doesn't like the name Underlord. Underlord is even underlined as if to suggest it's not a real word. Huh, imagine that. Let's see what it creates for me. A few moments later. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess we'll just try that again sometime. We have this, the repurpose, create a highlight reel, find highlights. There's some really good stuff in here, but now it's all visible. You don't have to click that weird actions button at the top. It's all just right here. And I love that. I'm sure there are more improvements coming. There always are with Descript. They've always got something up their sleeve. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any of those. And I'll queue up my video here that I did on the new AI features that you can now find under the Underlord because some of them really honestly blew me away, like the remove retakes and the find highlights. And don't forget about that Descript video editing cheat sheet that I created. It's totally free and I put a link down in the description so you can download